Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 10, the structure of ratio tables, additive and multiplicative. Starting out with an exploratory challenge. Imagine that you are making a fruit salad. For every quart of blueberries you add, you would like to put three quarts of strawberries. So for every one quart of blueberries, three quarts of strawberries. That is a ratio of one, two, three. All right, create three ratio tables that show the amounts of blueberries and strawberries you would use if you needed to make fruit salad for greater numbers of people. In table one, they want us to contain amounts where you have added fewer than 10 quarts of blueberries to the salad. So I would start with my unit rate or my lowest value, which is one to three. And we all know that multiplication is repeated addition, so we're going to continue in that fashion. One, two, three, four, five. We're just doubling every or adding one every time. One times two, one times three, one times four, one times five. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Or three times two, three times three, three times four, three times five. These are all equivalent ratios that will reduce to 1 to 3. 5 will go into 15 three times. So those are fewer than 10 quarts, table 1. Table 2 should contain amounts of blueberries between 10 and including 10 and 50 quarts. Between and including 10 and 50 quarts. So they want us to include 10 and 50. So 10, if I do multiples of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And if you look over at this table, we could have just multiplied 1 times 10, 2 times 10, 3 times 10, and so on. So if I multiply these by 10, or 1 to 3 becomes 10 to 30 just by putting a 0 after it, and this will be 60, 90, 120, and 150. And if I divide 50 by 50, I get 1. If I divide 150 by 50, I get 3. And then finally, we are going to contain amounts of blueberries greater than or equal to 100 quarts. So I'm going to start with 100. So that is going to be a multiple of 100 from my original table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and multiply them by 100, I get 200, 300, 400, and 500. So if I multiply the left by 100, I have to multiply the right by 100. So I'm going to copy my table from A, or 1, and add two zeros to every one of them. That's multiplying by 100. And commas when we get to the thousands position. So there are our three tables that fill in what the question was asking for. And they're all equivalent ratios, which are 1 to 3. Okay, A, describe any patterns you see in the tables. Be specific in your description. Okay, so if you use my values, which is, doesn't mean you had to, you could have done 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. That is fewer than 10 quarts. And you could have done 10, well, you needed 10 and 50, but you could have done 10, 15, 20, 25, and 50. It didn't say anything about in between. It just said that it had to include 10 and 50. And this one had to include 100, but you could have done anything after that. You could have done 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so forth. So it depends on what your values were, whether you have this description for this question. But if you use my numbers, then I would have said the value in the second column is always three times as much as the corresponding value in the first column. No matter what numbers you choose, that should be true. In the first table, the entries in the first column increased by 1, and the entries in the second column increased by 3. That's where we could differ if you didn't do that. In the second table, the entries in the first column increased by 10, and the entries in the second column increased by 30. And in the third table, the first column increased by 100, and the second column increased by 300. B says, how are the amounts of blueberries and strawberries related to each other? So for this, I would say... 
the amount of blueberries is one third the amount of strawberries. Okay, so that's one way to say it. There are other ways to say it. We could have said the amount of strawberries is three times the amount of blueberries and so on and so forth. C, how are the values of the blueberries column related to each other? So if I go back to the blueberries column, blueberries is right here. How are they related in the column? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five in my column, apologize for that, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 in this column, or 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And the question says, how are the values in the blueberries column related to each other? Okay, so for this one, I would say um, the columns are repeated addition. And we all know that repeated addition multiplication. How are the values of the strawberries column related to each other? Okay. Um, how about that? The columns are repeated addition. E. If we know we want to add seven quarts of blueberries to the fruit salad in table one, how can we use the table to help us determine how many strawberries to add? So they're asking us to come to this table here and put in, let me erase this out of the way. Okay, and that was a five. And they want us to put a seven down here. What will this be? Well, this was, an, this was a multiple of seven. One times seven is seven. So if I multiply three times seven, I get 21. So how are the values of the blueberries? That's not the one down here, E. If we know we want to add seven quarts of blueberries to the fruit in salad table one, how can we use the table to help us determine how many strawberries to add? Okay, and we could extend our table until we get seven in the blueberry column. Okay, so, and what I just explained there. Okay, so we could extend our table till we get seven in the blueberry column. F. If we know we use 70 quarts of blueberries to make our salad, how can we use the ratio table to find out how many quarts of strawberries to use? Okay, so we could start with the ratio 1 to 3 that was given in the description, and then multiply by 10 to get 10 to 30. There, these would be the first values in our table. Then we could count up by 10s in blueberries column and count up by 30s in strawberries column. Or we know that 1 times 70 is 70 for blueberries, and then we take the 3 times 70, 3 times 70, which would be 210. So those are the two ways we could have done it. Okay, so here's exercise one. The following tables were made incorrectly. Find the mistakes that were made, create the correct ratio table, and state the ratio that was used to make the correct table. So here's an incorrect table. Here's a blank one that we need to fix and put the correct table over here and tell what the ratio was. I'm going to start with finding the ratio. And we know that that ratio is y divided by x. And 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So I need to multiply by 8 here so that my ratio is 1 to 8. 3 times 8 is 24. So I'm going to write 3, 24, because that is correct. 5 times 8 is 40. That is also correct. 7 times 8 is not 56. 7 times 8 is or not 52. It is 56. And 9 times 8 is 72. So the only error was the 52. Okay, B. Again, I'm going to do y over x equals 5 divided by 1, which equals 5. 
or we could just leave it as five over one, which is a ratio of one to five. Our ratio is x to y, not y over x. Our ratio is x to y, one to five. So I'm multiplying by five here. So if I do one to five, that's correct. But five times four, or four times five is not eight, four times five is 20. Seven times five is not 13, seven times five is 35. And 10 times five is not 16, 10 times five is 50. So this is the corrected table. So there were three errors in that one. Okay, that is the end of lesson 10. Read the summary. I won't take the time to do that. Read this summary. Go do your problem set.